Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to explain to you where the eccentric and standard spacers are on this machine and also how to go about adjusting them should you have a loose axis on your machine. So let's dive into it. Okay, so for those who don't know where the eccentric nuts are located on the z-axis they are the single wheels on the insides here on the x-axis they're the single wheel down here and on the y-axis they are the wheels on if the machine is facing you the right hand side okay to adjust these is relatively simple artillery includes this little hex wrench in the kit it works, but because it is so thin, I've had problems with these in the past, chewing up aluminum standoffs due to their tiny surface area. So if you can, either be very careful using one of these or just go out and buy a hex wrench or borrow one off someone that you know, make sure they get it back though. It will probably work a little bit better. Now when it comes to adjusting an axis, Here's what you do. So when you're adjusting these, and I'm gonna use one of the non-eccentric sides to demonstrate it, you just wanna turn it a tiny bit either way, stop, check it, and repeat. The whole idea is we're just trying to take up any play that is in the system, not actually crush things and destroy them. Now the trickiest one to do would have to be the y-axis just because it is underneath there. So if you're having difficulties, I know it's a little bit of work, but you can always unscrew the four leveling screws underneath the bed, gently take it off and adjust it that way. You do have to reassemble it, but it makes it a lot easier to access things. But ideally, you shouldn't really have to adjust these over the life of the machine if they were done properly from the factory.